So in this video we're going to go over how to use coupons um, on your e-commerce website with Wix. Uh, coupons are used to kind of help your sales by giving customers sort of special offers and discounts depending on what they purchase or different product types um, and things like that. And they've got lots of different options uh, for coupons so there's uh, loads of ways you can use them. To start you want to go into the marketing and SEO tab and click into coupons to get to the coupon dashboard. And this is essentially where you'll see all of the coupons that are currently being used or have been used previously. So to add a new one, you would just click Add New. And you can see the different types of coupon options that you have. So you've got discount, uh, uh, fixed amount discount, percentage discount. You can have a coupon to offer free shipping, um, coupon for sales, and a buy one, get one free for uh, coupons. So the uh, fixed amount discount they all kind of start off the same way so you would add the actual coupon code so um so for example uh whatever this is essentially the code that they'll use to actually get the coupon um so you can make it personalized to suit the theme of what you're uh, offering and then you have the actual amount that you want to discount so this is fixed priced so whatever amount you enter here is the amount that's going to be taken off uh, the basket. So, for example, if you enter ten, twenty, then this will be this is the amount that's going to be applied. And when you select uh, apply to, and you can select either a specific collection. So, if it's a um, coupon to be used for um, a specific collection in your shop, then you can set it to that. For example, this coupon can only be used for clothing, and um, you could do it to that you can apply it to every, only the lowest price item or you can apply it to every relative relevant item in an order. So if in, in the entire order there's three items that are under the clothing collection, it'll either apply the discount to the lowest price item or the uh, every item relevant in that order. So it'll apply it three times if it's selected this one. You can apply it to all products. So um, if there's no a limit to whatever product it can be used on and you can select it to all products or you can apply it to every relevant item in an order so either apply it to the lowest item or apply it to every relevant item you can also do minimum order or subtitle subtotal um, and what that means is so it'll take the order amount and they'll say if you do minimum order then um, you can set a minimum order amount so if their order amount is 25 then they can use the discount um, or if their minimum order is 50 pounds, then they can use a discount. Or you can um, also set it to a specific product as well. Um, it Most people would probably use it in this way, so they'll have to spend a certain amount to get that discount. Um, and you can decide if you want to use it for subscriptions as well. Um, if they want to use this coupon for one-time purchases and for every recurring purchase. Um, and then you can set an end date, so as well between... Um, the current date and you can either select don't set an end date or you can select um, a future date uh, to cause it to end so if you wanted to set it for a month something like that you can you can also limit the uses so you can limit the total number of uses for this coupon so if you click on that and then click 200 it means the coupon can only be used 200 times so maybe you could say like the first 200 customers get this discount um, or you can limit one use per customer meaning the customer can only use it one time um, with their account details um, so it's up to you how you want to set that or you can just set no limits at all a percentage discount is the exact same thing so you'd set the coupon code choose how it's going to be applied uh, give it an end date expiry date and limit the uses except the dis instead of as unlike the first one is using a percentage discount so if you put 10 for example in this field here it'll take a 10% discount off um, if you select like, 5 it'll select 5% discount off um, so that's how that one works and then you can do free shipping so you can offer a coupon that offers free shipping and you can either apply it to all orders or the minimum order subtitle sub subtotal and then all the other offers are the same and then you have a sale price so this is if you wanted to um, apply an entire collection or a specific product um, then you can give it a sale price and you can say now only and you can set it to an actual price meaning if someone were to buy a, a specific product or to buy a specific product in a collection and then they use this coupon code then whatever product price that is it will get changed to 23 pounds 
and the same you can add the the product expiry or the coupon expiry or the uh, add limits to the uses and then finally you can add a product uh, code for uh, buy one get one free so for example if they buy two they get one free and you can choose it for a specific collection or a specific product so um, for example yoga mats if they buy two yoga mats they get one free um, and things like that and whatever product it is basically that you want to uh, apply that to they'll get buy one get one free um, so whichever one that you use you would just select what type of discount that you want to give set all the limits um, and then just um, make sure you have all of the um, information added and then you just click create coupon and then that coupon is not active and then what you can do is from the dashboard you can either edit it um, you can delete it or you can deactivate it um, so it's up to you how you want to do that uh, but yeah that's how you use coupons and it's very sort of flexible and it's a good way to kind of boost your sales if you offer kind of different discounts every now and again um, on certain products and things like that